What is up guys? Today, let's go over four tips in three minutes that will help improve your editing game in Adobe Premiere. Let's go. Okay, lights, camera, and action. Sean here, and if you're new to the channel, then thanks for stopping by. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe so you can get more videos like this one. And if you're returning because you're already subscribed, well then, welcome back. All right, four tips in three minutes, let's go. Say you have an effect that you wanna stretch across multiple clips, but don't wanna go in and add that effect to each one of those clips one by one. Well, my friend, that is where you would use an adjustment layer. Simply head on over to your project window, click new item, then adjustment layer. Depending on what you want that adjustment layer to be, name it accordingly. Then drag that adjustment layer on top of the clips you want it to affect, and then drag and drop the effect onto the adjustment layer. Now all the layers below the adjustment layer have been affected by your effect. Tip number two, get your footage to look more cinematic by adding widescreen bars. Again, this is gonna be done by first adding an adjustment layer to the top of your clips on your timeline. Then you'll head on over to effects and crop, drag crop over to your adjustment layer. Then go to the effect controls and adjust top and bottom to around 12.5 to 13. And just like that, your footage looks more cinematic because you added those widescreen bars. Also, because we added the crop to an adjustment layer and not your original footage, you can reposition your footage below the adjustment layer so that nothing important gets cut off by the black bars. Tip number three, cloning or copying your clips on your timeline. In editing, keyboard shortcuts are everything, and the more you know, the faster you can wrap up projects, the quicker you get paid, and the more projects you can take. So say you wanna copy a clip on your timeline, Simply hold Alt or Option on your keyboard, click on that clip, and then move it over to wherever you want it to be. And bam, you just duplicated that clip. It's on your timeline. You can do this as many times as you want, and you can do it with any type of clip. Tip number four, colorize or label your clips. If you've seen any of my other videos, then you know when it comes to editing, I'm a huge fan of organization. A simple way to keep your files organized on your timeline so that it's easier for you to know which clip is which is to just label them with some color. To do that, before you add any clips to your timeline, head on over to your project window, right click on your clip, and then label and choose your color. Now when you drag that clip to your timeline, you know exactly which clip it is because you've labeled it with a splash of color. All right guys, that was four tips in three minutes-ish. Did you find those tips helpful or do you know of any other tips that could benefit people who edit in Adobe Premiere? Drop a comment below and let us know. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.